Hey. So my wife and I are actually visiting all 59 national parks this centennial year. We're making videos and posts on our blog for each one. But after our incredible experience at the National Park of American Samoa, we knew we had to submit this video to the contest. First, of course, we stopped at the visitor center. We learned all we could from the display boards about this incredibly unique island. And then we hit the trails. Okay, don't be dramatic. American Samoa is a volcanic island that has super steep mountains and every inch of land is just covered with rainforest. There are trees growing on trees, growing on plants and plants, vegetation I've seen nowhere else. And then you come out to incredible ocean views. This beach was a little rocky and the surf was pretty high, so we did not do a lot of swimming, but the views were still worth it. There were these lizard fish combos that just hopped around on the rocks and those were really crazy. One day we took on Mount Alava, one of the highest peaks and the climb was pretty brutal. As soon as you stepped into the rainforest, you were just sweating buckets. But the view of gorgeous Pago Pago was totally worth it. The park is actually created from land leased by these villages. Yeah. Coming down was a little better. The bird calls surrounding us were beautiful, but I'm really glad we had these ropes. That's Trevor, one of the two friends who joined us for the park. We left plenty of time for breaks. Rest stop. Also so we could just admire the awesome trees all around, like this banyan tree. And of course the views, like this one of Vatia Village where we stayed. It's completely surrounded by the park. And then we came down from the mountain. We took a little side trail to the shore and we could not resist jumping in the tide pools that were actually really deep. It was so cool how during high tide the waves would come in and totally refresh the pools. But then our favorite part of each day was just going home. We were actually staying with the Sayuli family in Vatia because the National Park has this incredibly unique homestay program and we stayed with the family for seven days, just learning all about their traditions, the Samoan way, drinking fresh coconut from their plantation, and eating all these Samoan foods. We played games with the kids and tried to learn their tricks. <laughs> also tried to learn their language, which did not go as well. But we tried. <laughs> oh. We took a dip in the local bathing hole, this shower tank that was fed straight from the waterfall. And then we just took a dip in the waterfall. But it didn't always help that much. We are pretty disgusting. Whoa, and of course you couldn't miss the bats flying right over the house. The only national park with fruit bats with wings three feet wide. And then the dance party. Staying with the family made our National Park experience. It was so great to learn from them and connect with the community. They truly helped us find our park in American Samoa. Say Tofa. It was so hard to say goodbye. But staying with them and our visit to the National Park is something we'll never forget.